Okay, we're starting out with a black A by Do It in thread. And we're going to run all the way back to right at the bend of the hook right back here. And then back up about halfway up the shank of that hook. Okay, the next thing we're going to be adding is some Furry Valley Crafting Fur. I absolutely love this material here. It's synthetic, of course. And you can just see what long and short fibers it's got. And this is kind of like a pink zebra. You can see the patterns it's got in it. And it's not going to take very much of this. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. You get multiple patterns and colors in this right here. And that's about what we're aiming for right there. But uh, you get a gallon bag of this stuff. And I think that is a great deal. I gave like 25 bucks or so. Somewhere around there for a gallon bag of different patterns of this. And we want this to go about halfway down on the shank right there. We'll have to trim them a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to put it about midway down right there. Bring our thread down a little bit. Push it down over the shank of that hook. And I like giving like one or two nice loose wraps. And then I just push down. I'm making sure it gets all the way across the shank. And then we're just going to go ahead and really put some nice tight wraps on this. Locking all that hair in. Okay, the next thing that we want to add is our flashing. And we're going to be going with some pink and kind of aqua color flashing here today. And three strands, three or four strands is all we're going to be adding to each side of this tie. So we'll get that cut and we're going to lay it right back down toward the end of the tail. We want this to stick right back to where those longest fibers end right there. Then we'll give him a couple of wraps here, locking him in. There we go. And then we're going to recut it. Keep it on all one length. And then we're just going to flip around and do the same right on the other side. Lay it right against the shank of that hook. Give him a couple of tight wraps there, locking him in. And I'm going to use my smaller scissors this time. Cut that and remove it. And then kind of lay it down right against the side of that body that we got there that we're making this collar. And we're just going to lock it in all the way down toward the start of the hair there. There we go. And then some more nice tight wraps, locking all that flashing and hair in. And right back up toward the back of the jig head. Now the next thing that we're going to be adding is, this is by Lady Fly Tire. I gave like a dollar fifty for like three foot of this black Chanel here. She's got all different patterns. Uh, links down in the description to her eBay store. And it's also LadyFlyTire.com. That you can see. So... This is what we got right here. This is what it looks like. And we're going to go ahead and tie this in right behind the jig head. Remove some of that fiber. Lock it in. And then we're going to go around once. One more time around it. And then we're just going to start wrapping this. right back toward the start of that tail. Then we're gonna go right back up toward the front. That looks good right there. And then we're gonna give him a couple of wraps around before we cut this. Just locking that Chanel in, and then a couple of wraps right behind that jig head. Then we'll just get rid of the excess here. And then I'm going to just go ahead, kind of comb this back right here. And then I'm going to lock this Chanel in. I'm going to go right down the body, giving it some nice tight wraps, locking it in. Right back to where the flashing and the hair starts. And then right back up toward the back of the jig head. 
and now it's time to build this collar up with some nice tight wraps. Next we just need to whip finish it here. We're going to do five turns with the whip finish. Add a little bit of UV resin to secure that collar. Just a little simple crappie fishing jig right there in the pink and black pattern. All the materials that we used will be linked down in the description along some of our other jig ties in the playlist as well as how we crackle our jig heads like this right here. That'll be down there as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Follow us over on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Until next time, stay safe out there on the water. We're tying those jigs, and we'll see you right back here in the next one.